Madali lang yan, friend. Are you up here? Yes, perfect. Hello, everybody! Hello. You guys ready to see Drew? Yeah! yeah. All right, we're gonna go get him, guys. Sit tight. Thank you. <laughs> Am I not walking any view here? Sorry? So many phones! Hi guys! Problems, and we were in the old town with the bar. So uh, everything's good. How are you guys all doing? That's pretty good. Guys, guys, pretty good. Everybody, go. Quite a long journey. About 10 years ago, I moved to the Czech Republic to study abroad. 
And then I pretty much haven't stopped traveling, literally non-stop. I was living in Korea for two years teaching English, and then I started a travel blog, and then I just started traveling because I've, I, if all you guys are travelers, I'm assuming, or, you, or you're an aspiring traveler. So once you start going, you realize that it's hard to stop. And so, uh, yeah, I picked up a video camera in 2017. Uh, and then uh, I went to North Korea around that time, and I made a video which got 10 million views on, on Facebook. And then everything, I just said, okay, I'm going to start making videos. So as I went to every country, I just started making videos and putting them on Facebook and YouTube. And then uh, fast forward about four 10 million views on, on Facebook and then everything I just said okay I'm gonna start making videos so as I went to every country I just started making videos and putting them on Facebook and YouTube and then uh, fast forward about four and a half years since then and here we are with a, with a community of about nine million on social media and um, I'm really grateful to have the chance to, to tell stories and that people actually watch them it's different when you when you make a video and you see that it has like five million views it's like fake but like when you stand here and if there's like a hundred people, it feels way more real. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. So um, listen, I can talk a lot more about myself, but I think I'd rather just answer the questions that you have. So we'll start with you. Go ahead. What's your favorite country? What's my favorite country? Top uh, five. Top five. Philippines. Yeah. Philippines is definitely yeah. the top five. Iran is in the top five. What about Pakistan? Pakistan is amazing. It's, it's really hard to do top five because then it's like you have to leave another country out. Say so. Um, I just got here. I can't put Saudi. Ask me in two weeks. Lebanon. Uh, Lebanon is in. Who said that? Yes. Lebanon. You got all the answers, man. Uh, in Europe, I love Holland and I love uh, Czech Republic and Estonia. Estonia is cool, not my top five favorite, but it's cool. And, and then I like uh, Venezuela is my favorite in, in Latin America, and uh, Mexico. So there's the top five. Uh, How am I gonna do this? Go ahead. Uh, I just wanna say, so the question was, what's the biggest lesson you've learned? And it's actually written here on my shirt. Uh, we are yeah. all the same. Yes, we are all the same. Did I have a plan? Uh, like the order of the countries? I just kind of did like regions. So for example, like Central Asia has seven or eight countries. Like the stand, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan. So I kind of did them in one trip and then I would go back if I needed to pick something up. Um, so I kind of looked at the map and then I just did it by region. Yeah. You first. How long has it been since you've been home? You have Arizona? Uh, three days. Two days. <laughs> I came from Arizona so oh. here. <laughs> but normally I travel for like three or four months at a time. Yeah. Questions? Uh, let's go with you in the black hat. What do you do after you finish last travel? What do I do? So there's never going to be a last travel because I will keep keep going, and that's kind of the answer. I want to keep finding, uh, I want to revisit countries and tell stories that I didn't get the chance to tell the first time around, and keep growing the community. Thank you. What was the hardest country to get into? Entry. That's a great question. What, by the way, when I call on you, tell me your name and where you're from, and then a the question. So go ahead. Sweet. I live here from California, U.S. Nice. And say the question. And what was the most difficult country to get into? <laughs> the question was, what is the most difficult country? Uh, Libya was number one. Yemen was number two. <clears throat> and then uh, Eritrea was probably number three, which is just across the Red Sea from here. Uh, in the back, yeah. yeah. Hi, Drew. Hi. My name is Jassi. Nice to meet you. I'm from India, South. So why did you choose the last country in Saudi? Why did I choose Saudi for the end? Um, next for last. Yeah, that's the end. <laughs> I knew that there was a lot of surprises here, and I know Saudi's changing so rapidly, so I wanted to save it for a big celebration, which I'm experiencing, we're all experiencing right now, so that's the reason. Uh, right here, in, in the orange shirt. Okay, we can do pictures right after this, and also, on that note, there's also a lot of people outside, so I think it's only fair if we do, like, 
30 minutes and 30 minutes, so we'll just kind of keep it quick. Which part of the Philippines? I'm from Manila. Manila. Do you like Hong Kong? What's your opinion on it? Hong Kong? Yes. It's one of the best cities in the world. I love it. I've been maybe 10 times and I can't wait to go back maybe in five years from now when it opens. Uh, in, the, in the mask, right?